What's up, YouTube fam? About to hit you back, hit you up with another video. I'm about to uh, make a T-shirt uh, for a customer. It looks like it's an anime theme one. For some reason, these people love these anime theme ones. So they sent me the file. And yeah, we're gonna print that out, and then we'll, we'll call this day uh, Chest and Print Day because I'm gonna do some bench pressing. Um, probably some incline and some decline. I mean, some incline and regular bench press. Cardio, did some basketball earlier. Uh, I was terrible today, I couldn't even make one shot, I don't know. Usually I'm a good point, three point shooter and a good jump shooter, but layups. But nah, I wasn't even shooting good today, so. It is what it is, can't always, you know, you know, can't always win it all, so. Yeah, let's get this printing going. It was already printing, so this is what we got. This is uh, the artwork he sent me. It's kind of a big file. We're gonna print that out and then uh, get that one ready to go. I already worked on a couple things, a couple orders I had to get out. I'm trying to make sure, you know, these Etsy orders get to the uh, destination before Christmas. So, yeah, let's get it. Let's get it popping. I don't have my little man with me right now. He's with his mom out and about. So, yeah, let's get this just break out. All right, so now uh, gonna throw some 45s on there. T-shirt is printing, do a couple sets, and then we uh You know the deal. We don't sleep out. <laughs> Today I'm just playing around. Today was technically supposed to be uh, kind of an off day for me, but I feel like doing some bench. So I'm gonna do just uh, some incline and just regular bench. Uh, don't know how heavy I'm gonna go just yet, so we'll see. Depends how I feel. Get in there. Damn. Might have to uh, put some oil on that. Jeez. That's what happens, that's a cheap bar that came with the set that I bought. So it's nothing, nothing special, but it does the job. It holds the weight. go so the goal here is just to get some get the, the chest pumping a little bit basically just a warm-up set before we go a little heavy and do the real real sets so yeah so the shirt's almost done damn Woo! it's like yeah this shirt is nice sometimes I make shirts and I'm like you know what I want this for me not for you <laughs> So yeah, we'll uh, do that shirt, that's a big one. Probably like, I think it's like a 13 by 16. 13 by 16, so it's gonna take up a good amount of the space of the shirt. But yeah. All right, so it looks like the, uh, the shirt's done printing, so I gotta cut it real quick. Gotta cut that. There we go. Steady, steady. All right, so now I'm gonna cut that. That's what it looks like. I gotta put the powder on it first, but you can see it's pretty, uh, pretty vibrant, pretty good. I make good quality stuff. I don't be bullshitting around. I try to make sure do stuff that makes you like it makes you come back and get more so I spent a little bit of money on a uh, more expensive stuff but in the end it all is worth it
So let's do this. Powder. And we put it in the oven. And let that. I might as well, you know, uh, turn the heat press on too, because once that's done. All right, so I threw some 25s on there. And uh, time to uh, get another set in. The heat, the heat uh, press is uh, heat warming up. And once that's done, we'll be uh, ready to press. As you can see, I got the dogs in the garage today. Luna, what's up, mama? They're all ready for Christmas. Luna, come here. Come here, mama. What are you leaving for, huh? Come here, mama. What's your matter? Come here. Come here. And she's scared of the, the tripod. <laughs> Dogs are always afraid of everything. So let's get this. Let's get it in. All right. Oh. probably gonna end up replacing these J hooks. They're too wobbly for my liking. And then I also, I ordered uh, some aluminum pulley wheels to replace with the, the nylon ones that are on right now. That's supposed to really uh, make it more smooth. They're really more like a commercial feel smooth. Probably not as good, but a lot better than it will be now, so. Yeah, like I said, on days when I don't feel like going to the gym, I want to have something cool, something good to work out with. Uh, you know, so all that matters is getting that resistance in and pushing, because I'm, I'm still in this cut phase, so I'm down a couple, like three pounds. So nothing crazy, but it's only been like a week, not even a week. But I think that um, keep continuing what I'm doing with the diet and the cardio, the pounds are just going to start coming off. So you watch and see the pounds are going to come off. Oh. So yeah, just waiting for this press to, to heat up so we can do this, this artwork. Hmm. You see, like once it's dry, it looks, if you could tell, it looks very shiny. It's like glossy. And then again, here's the picture. So just imagine on a shirt, it's gonna be pretty big. So, you have some ideas you wanna work, get, want me to work on for you? Get you some, uh, a good price. You know, you want um, some uh, merch printed for you, done. Any of the transfers, it don't even matter. So, yeah. Hit me up, let me know. I'm down. And, you know, you can work with someone you can trust, because if it ain't right, I try, I'll do it, I'll do it again, I'll do it 10,000 times so I get it right. So, that's just the type of person that I am. I'm here to, to help the people, not hurt the people. So, that's almost done. I think it's time for another set. So let's do it. All right. Another set. I'm going to throw, uh, throw some 10 pounds on each side. <clears throat> uh. It's a decent little garage gym. Still got more where I want to get. I eventually want to get these uh, adjustable dumbbells. I think they're the ones that I want. That goes up to 100 pounds. They're uh, turn dial-ups. So it's pretty cool for, for uh, your home gym. You know, because you can, it's very versatile. Put the weight down, 
turn it and then boom, take it out. There's no need for all those dumbbells if you have something like that, if you just have for a home gym. You don't need all that, you know? If you wanna have all that, you could go to a gym. Oh, sorry, so let's do it. Oh, you make sure my, my feet are down, plant it. Uh, a little arch in the back. Just keep my core tight. And gripping, grip. Grab the ball if you're trying to break it. And then just go. Nice little five reps on that. Uh, and after this, I'm gonna give me a meal. I'm hungry. That shirt is ready, almost ready to be pressed. So I'll give you some tips on that too if you do this kind of stuff. If you're into the printing world, making t-shirts, however you do it, whether you use someone else's transfers, you print transfers yourself, you're starting, I don't know, whatever. So we'll see. Let's do it. Um, is it showing? It's kind of not focusing right. Okay. All right, so if you're trying to really center, let me close that real quick. If you really wanna like ensure you're getting to the center of the shirt, what you wanna do is, you know, if you don't have like a, one of those little uh, liner alignment tools like this, what you could do is grab the shirt and fold it, right? Fold it to where it's, everything is nice and, and even with the, all right, so the collar, grab that. And then, or if it's easier, just put the, put the shirt together like that from the sleeves and then go like that and then pull it. And then drop it down on the heat press like that. And then you just close it. Like if you were gonna do a press. Just for a couple of seconds. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a line for you, dead center in the middle, see? Boom, so you can see that. So now you know where the center of the shirt is. And usually you wanna go three fingers down from the collar, and then that's where you wanna place your artwork. And even for this, you could do the same for the artwork. What you wanna do is just fold it where it centers. Make it nice and center of the graphics. Like that. Then you just fold it. And now you kind of have like a line for where the center is from the start of the so from the start of the picture. So you see, you can just kind of grab it and then put it from the to the edge of where like the uh, the artwork is from end to end, as close as you can. Depends on the artwork too, if it's centered. But yeah, so it gave me that as the center line. So like that would be the line that I would attach to this to line it up to where it could be centered the best. And then of course, make sure the shirt is straight. on the heat press and then you should be that bad boy's ready to, to go print I mean ready to uh, to uh, get done and then and if you have one of these tools you can use it too I bought it on uh, cheap on Amazon like it came with like a pack you get like adult ones child one different sizes uh, what else what else 
So that's three. Yeah, and make sure it's nice centered in the middle. Throw my little cover on there. This one I might have to do twice because as you can see, the, um, the file or the picture is hanging off of the heat press. So, <clears throat> picture so long and this heat press is not that long. It's a 16 by 16, I would think it is. Standard size. And then I got it set to about 315 degrees for 20 seconds. And this is a hot peel. So should be able to pull off right away. <clears throat> All right, so then I'm gonna move the shirt closer and then get the areas that didn't get pressed on. And then should be good to go. And that's a quick process quick way to uh, get the shirt centered, but the more you do it, it'll kind of come second nature to me. I mean, second nature to you, like it is for me. Like once I'm starting to do shirts, I can kind of already see once I lay down where the center is, but I still use the tool anyway, just to kind of like be accurate. It has like a guide as my GPS. So, and then from there, all you do, let me see if I could zoom in a little bit on that. I can zoom in. Does this give me some zoom? Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. And then from there, you just peel. And that's it. And there you go. A nice shirt. Customer should be happy. And you should be happy. Everybody's happy. So that looks pretty dope. And then, um, do one more press. But yeah, this is the, actually, this is a new um, film that I got. It's a new uh, DTF film. And yeah, it looks pretty good. It feels soft too, and it's very stretchy. So, you know, you could do a workout with this. You could do one, two, three. <laughs> Just kidding, you don't wanna do that. And then this one that actually doesn't even look like it needs another press. I don't know. Only different thing that I'm seeing with this powder and this um, film is that it doesn't look as vibrant as like the one that I had, the other ones that I have. I don't know, it seems a little duller. But in essence, I don't know if that means it's gonna be <clears throat> better it's not as glossy so it actually looks like it's and it's softer so the less you feel of it the less you feel i mean the less um ink that is on there that like, that's showing it's going to feel softer so that's what i'm getting with this one it feels very soft like i've done other ones with like a shittier quality um like film ink and it would feel like very like material, almost like you could rip it like a piece of paper. This one, I'm getting more like a, it's very soft. So yeah, that's just a little tip, a little quick tip. You know, if you're trying to center a shirt. So yeah, he'll be happy with that. Oh, I'm probably cold now for the chest, damn. Chest workout, too much talking. So um, yeah, I'm gonna do another set of that. And uh, yeah, I got a, a big order coming my way. I don't know, I gotta do like, freak, I'm gonna be busy. <sighs> busy, busy, but being busy is good. You know, especially if you're doing something for yourself. So no complaining here. And uh, let's do the set right here. I'll probably finish the other sets after this, like uh, do some regular benching and call it a day for the vlog. Uh, Cause I uh, just wanted to uh, give a little short little vlog today. Show you like a, give you a tip on making and designing, uh, not designing, but uh, centering your shirt with some tips. If you don't have certain 
little tools or if you want to do it like that way, you know, because you get, you know, easier. But of course, if you have a big order, you know, you might want to just get used to the, get used to the tool. Then you want to pop it on there and press. You don't always want to fold it and do all that. I think my time to be trying to, like in the beginning, it's good to try that kind of stuff. Get the feel for it. I want to become second nature, it's a wrap. Alright, let's do this set. Oh yeah, that feels good. <laughs> that feels good. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish my workout and I'm gonna send you guys on your way. So uh, thank you for uh, tuning in. And then uh, yeah, if you need more, well, about to fall. If you need some more um, tips on on the shirts, if you want to see me make more shirts, let me know and I'll do it. So. And then, you know, maybe even if you give, if you leave some comments, I might choose somebody and make you a free shirt with your design and I'll vlog it. So if that's something you want, hit me up. So yeah, guys, have a good. All right, so now that that t-shirt is done making, done, um, I got to uh, eat. So I just finished my chest movements. I did uh, the incline and I did some regular and then that's it. Like I said, today was an off day, so I just wanted to do just a little something, so nothing crazy. Just a little nice little chest pump, little power movements, five by five on each. So I did like 10 sets, five sets of uh, incline, five sets of regular chest, and that was decent because I'm gonna hit, um, tomorrow's probably back day. I'll probably hit chest again on Sunday or something, so a little extra credit, you know? Build this chest up so you can go like this. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> so yeah, let's see what we got cooking. I got cooking in here. I have a scale in here somewhere. I usually uh, measure my food. I don't even know where the heck it's at. Like, what the heck this? You know, stuff in this house gets rearranged like crazy. I don't even know where it's at. Is it in here? Oh. Hmm. It's crazy. Stuff's never where it's at. Oh, found it. Uh, I did not put it in here. So yeah, I'm uh, using my fitness pal to track my food and then I'm, uh, you know, popping it on here. Measuring the ounces. I got, I got a chicken I made. So that's like some chicken that I made from just today. And we're gonna put it on the, on the food scale, measure it in ounces. And that's six ounces. I think I want about at least 10, 10 ounces. 10.1, close enough. And then I'm gonna have that. See, that's actually with spinach too. I made that with spinach and garlic. So um, then I'm gonna have some rice, some good old rice. Then we're gonna tear that and measure that in grams. So tear. I don't know if you've ever used a food scale or not, but if you have, you know what I'm talking about when I say the, you gotta zero it out. And it's zeroed out and then just uh wait, let me see all right probably gonna do about let's see maybe like 100 grams of rice there we go 101 close enough you know you don't got to be all particular you don't even really have to measure food honestly but i'm just trying to be on point with my uh, calorie intake because I'm trying to really see where I need to be once I start dropping more weight. I want to see where I'm at um, and see how long it takes. Just tracking the food, you know? 
And uh, this is actually my first meal of the day and it's like 7.30. So I'm probably gonna eat this, the rest of the food later. I don't know, I just been busy today. I didn't even get a chance to eat. I went to the gym, played basketball for like a couple hours. I had to get home, get some work done. And then um, I had to go get a haircut. So yeah, I didn't even have a chance to eat. So yeah, this is gonna be the meal. Well, you know what I do? I don't have any right now, but yeah, if you wanna make it taste good too, you gotta throw some, some low calorie sauces on it, but I don't think I have any more. I'm just gonna pop that in the microwave for two minutes. And then we good. So yeah, so then you download my fitness pal and then you could like put the chicken. You could even scan the, uh, when you make the food, you could scan the back of it and, and the label. There's usually something you could scan or just type it in manually. So put that in my fitness pal and then be on point. So the goal is to hit 170 in the next few months or so on like 195 196 so yeah about maybe a couple months i should be in the 170s maybe mid 170s so we'll see i think I, i'm gonna do it i mean i've done it plenty of times i've never hit i've never gotten below 170 in a long time so to even go deeper into like 160s it's gonna it's gonna be new challenge but i can do it I can do it. You can do anything you want to do. And look at those little muscles. Flex those little muscles. Ah. Okay, you see, oh, this is a shirt I made too. It was a, it was actually one of the ones I messed up because um, I meant to make this him a little bigger and drop him a little lower, but I still wear it anyway for working out. This was like one of my, you know, one of my, not one of my first shirts, but like when I first started. So yeah, it's, a, it's an astronaut deadlifting. So yeah. This should be done. Ooh wee, that's a, that's a good amount of rice. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this meal and I'm gonna send you guys on your way. So yeah, if you need uh, some shirts done for you or if you need some tips or wanna just chat, let me know, comment, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Also, have a good holiday. If you are visiting family, be safe, have a good Christmas. And I hope Santa Claus brought you guys everything you wanted. And then I hope, you know, all my fathers out there, I hope you were able to uh, um, make your sons, daughters happy and have a blessed day. And yeah, talk to you guys later.